This is the brother Jerob. First and foremost, I have to give uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bukakwadash, the violence of the apostles and elders of great millstone rule well, who I'm constantly learning from. Just for these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and these speckled birds are scattered across the four corners of the earth. You know, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, the Bible speaks of. All right. Now, I'm, I watched a video from various GMS camps dealing with uh, these scoffers, you know, and that's an unrighteous thing, you know. You got brothers out there teaching and preaching hazard in their lives on the days that they go out, and all you got is these evil, wicked people coming up, not knowing that these men putting their lives on the line for you all, you know. They're doing what they they, they got to do to to get the blood off their hands, which all you scoffers out there, you got blood on your hands. So whether you know it or not, you're going to get judged like everybody else. But at least the brothers that's out there on the line outside doing their thing and doing the lessons, they're working. You know, they're working for the righteousness of your house, for the mercy. You know, and for the mercy. You know, so with that, uh, I'm going to start at uh, 1 Peter, 3rd chapter, the 12th verse in the reads, for the eyes of your house, for the mercy of your house, over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh is against them that do evil. You know, so whoever you, whoever you pray to, first of all, I know you're not praying to, to the true names of, Yah, uh, of our Lord in the, in the Most High, which is Yahweh. That's the Most High. And that means he is he to be for Hashem in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And his name is He, the Deliverer. He saves. Okay? Verse Peter 3 and 12. For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, are over the righteous, and his ears are upon, are open unto their prayers, but the face Oh, yeah, how about I mean, how about size against them that do evil? 13 verse. And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? Verse 14. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Verse 15. But sanctify the Lord Yahweh, by some how in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you, as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that whilst they accuse you of good conversation in Hamashiach. Which means no word for anointed. Alright? The 17th word is better. That the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by in your house, I be so, that ye suffer for well doing, then for evil doing. All right? So it's better to suffer for well doing than evil doing because hey, when, when, it, when, it, when, when he come, phew, man, people have no idea. And you scoffers, you, you don't have no idea whatsoever. You know, what's going to happen? Because you're not listening. And the Spirit ain't in you to listen. You know, so. It's just, you've been warned. All right? Now we're going to go to uh, Book of Second Peters. Second Peters 3. And 3. 
in the reeds, knowing this first, that they shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? But since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Now, you know, you got these people out there, they actually think that they don't see what's going on around them. You know, they don't see, but they continue to do the, the wickedness. You know, and they, look, man, They, they keep doing this wickedness. They don't see what's going around. They think this place is going to continue. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's like they, they, they're blind to the death they see going on every day. Why? Because they, they're the same ones out there that's into that. You know, their mind is gone because of this kingdom, which this queendom, which Esau, Edom, and the Amalekites are running, you know. They're through. So-called white men got them. They got their minds. But they were given over to a strong delusion because of their wickedness. Even back in the ancient days. What they did then, they do it now. All right. Verse 5, for this day willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High Jehovah by the Homicide, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water and perished. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to Proverbs. One to twenty. The Proverbs, Book of Proverbs, verse chapter twenty, verse in the reads: Wisdom cried without; she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words, saying, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge." And that's what's going on, you know. You pass by the counts every Saturday. You pass by your live, you talk, you talk your mess, you, you scorn, you try to incident your feelings and all of this, that, and the third, you know. But we're going to see when this family and word hit, we're going to see how your mind is, you know, how strong you are, you know, how tough you walk and how tough you talk. We're going to see in that day. No. Twenty third verse. Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Yeah, the elect will hear. The hope the, the, the hope will let they will hear, they will come into the wise castle. But you scoffers you mockers and scoffers and all the rest, man, y'all y'all can't come into the light. You can't do it. Be on your keypad all day, involved in all that BS, not doing the work, not even coming out, not doing nothing. But then you want to scoff. Proverbs 1 24, because I've called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Verse 25, but you have said that not at all, my counsel. And with none of my reproof. Let me read that again. Proverbs 1 25. But ye have said at not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. Here we go. Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity, will mock when your fear coming. When your fear coming, that desolation, your destruction coming as a whirlwind, then distress and anguish coming upon you. Then so they. Call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord Yahweh. Bahasim Yahweh side. All right? So, that day come, we're going to see how tough you are. All right? Because you've been warned. You've been warned. It's coming. It's coming quick. Because that son pop is coming quick and he's bringing his licking stick. 
as thick and thick as Yahweh shot it, the chariots, you know, now the nations, you know, and they gonna get it too. I, I, look, the two thirds, he's all right, you know, teaming, everybody gonna get it, you know. It's, 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 hey, man, it's gonna be like a slow cooker because it's doing it now. It's gonna be like a slow cooker and it's gonna boil over and it's coming now. It's coming. We don't know the, the, the exact time and date, but we know we're in the last of the last days. You know, so you want to get this knowledge? Keep it in you. Isaiah 33 and 6. It reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh by Shemi Hamasai is his treasure. That's right. You want to get this knowledge. You know, keep it in. You want by it, live by it, eat by it. You know, because that's what this knowledge is about. You know, and this, this, and this, and this, this book, this, this, this word, the Bible, sixteen eleven, King James version. You know, you don't have a sixteen eleven King James Bible. You know, get you a King James Bible and get you a KJV Apocrypha. You know, study, read. You know, stay in the wise council. Get this is this healing. This, this heals us. Okay. Proverbs. Four and seven. And it reads. Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all, uh, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Yeah, so, you got to get understanding, you get it by studying, and then you watching those videos, you go into a camp, you know, you, you got teachers, you know, that's how you learn, you know. Preferably GMS, GMS camp, because GMS has 100% too. A hundred percent true. Not some, not half, not 80, 89 and a half, 99 and a half. They got a hundred percent. Because if they didn't, you wouldn't see all these counts all over the world. You know, you wouldn't, you just, if the Lord not, you have a me, how i not working with you, you won't make it, you know. The word will, will go out for it, you know. But but this word is not going out of the way. No. From from Elder Apostles and Great Millstone he, before them men they were under Alba Bevis. I never met them, but I knew they were powerful. In the spirit. I and I, I believe in it. <clears throat> so like I believe in it. Reincarnation. I, I believe it. Paul and King Masha. I, I, you know, I believe that that's who they were in the reincarnation. I believe that. Okay. Okay. Now we have Messiah. All right. Seven. Proverbs 1. We're going to go back up to 5. Proverbs 4 and 5, and, and it reads, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of thy mouth. You know, so you get it. Constantly, constantly read, study. You know, I found that the more you do things repetitiously, you know, the, the more apt you're going to remember. You know, I'm just speaking for myself because I'm, I'm an older uh, man in the truth, you know. Then it's, you know, and by me being older, I, this is the way I have to do. I have to constantly write things down so I can remember. And eventually, you know, it, 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 it comes, certain things comes automatic to me, you know. 
but I got to stay, you know, I fly also with my, so I have to stay in, in this, you know, every single day, you know, I, mean, I wake up, I on a minute when I go to sleep, before I go to sleep on a minute, because this is going to be the, the, the stability of, of, of the times that's coming, you know, it seems that, you know, the, the wisdom of this world is foolishness, but this wisdom here, yeah, something else. Truth. A lot of people can't can't un, don't don't want the truth. They get mad about the truth. It's all good. Wasn't for them in the first place. All right. Uh, go to the eight verse. Proverbs four and eight. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor, without. Do do us embrace her, you know, exalt her, you know what I mean? Constantly study, you know, constantly, whenever you can, you know, get this word in you, you know, eat it, you know, eat it up. All right, go to the 13th verse. And it reads, Proverbs 4 and 13. Take fast hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. She is. That's that wisdom, you know. That's that wisdom. She is that wisdom. Okay. And then Proverbs 4. Let's go to the 14. We're into not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Stay out of the two third ways and, and stay especially out of uh, Esau, even the so called white man. Stay out of his way. You know. Stay out of his way. You got to work around him, do whatever. You know. But use wisdom when you're around. The two thirds and when you're around the so called white man, which is Esau, Edom. You know. Use wisdom. Okay. Because that's going to, you know, that's going to get you through. And to not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. You know, you don't go over to their house for dinner, you don't do none of that. Because who, that, it, it vexes me to go outside to the store, you know, to, it really does. But I learned to deal with it, you know. But this is my comfort is going out on the Saturdays, staying into this truth, into the reading and studying. You know, that's my comfort, you know, because I hear it's it just vexation, you know, just straight up wickedness, you know. Yeah, I used to be part of that, but not to that extent what they're doing, you know. But I used to be part of that. And then when I found out things in the Bible that I can't be clean, you know, I got to get washed by the word or the truth, you know. Did you how about me? How is that? That's how I'm working on staying clean. I'm working on repenting every single day. I'm working on putting on the new man, you know, every single day. It's just challenging, but it's, once you get into it, once you live by it and walk by it, it feels, it, it, it actually like you're born again. Because when I came into this, I knew nothing. And not the little bit I know now. It's refreshing. In a world of darkness, it's refreshing. Because I can see, I can see, you know, some things, you know, that I couldn't see before, you know. I know some things that I couldn't, that I didn't know before. So it's refreshing. Okay, uh. Let's go to, uh. Proverbs 1 and 23, and it reads, this is Proverbs 1, 23, and it reads, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Okay? 
and heart. That's your mind. And I'm about to prove it to you when look it up in the blue letter. Okay. Strong's H3820. Lave. Lave. Okay, let's see. In a man, mind, will, heart, understanding, in a part, midst, midst of things, heart of man, soul, heart of man, mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory, see, so, that's, that's what the, the heart means, you know, it means your mind, okay, This would be the last one. Let me see. Yeah, let me start. Uh, this is Second Peter three and one, and it reads, "This second epistle, beloved." And that's uh. I'm in mean, Second Peter, Peter three and one. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. And that's reading, you know, reading the uh, scriptures. You know, being taught the scriptures bring it, it, it brings you back to, you know, how you, you know, brings back your culture. You know, as an Israel Hebrew Israelite. You know, the tribe of Judah and the southern kingdom and northern kingdom. You know. You got the nine northern tribes, you know, in the northern you know, uh, kingdom. Then you got our southern kingdom, which is uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The 12 tribes of Israel. They make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, but it says, uh, second verse, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before. By the holy prophets of the commandment of us the apostles of Yahweh of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Knowing this first that they shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. You know, and that's what they're doing now. You know, just the last days. You know. Walking after their own lust, what they believe, they come from their emotions. You know, they're violent with it, they're angry, you know, because they want to continue in this affair, this life, you know. And there's nothing here, you know, so they're going to be naturally angry, you know, and they, they want to, they wanna, you know. But I was going to say, they want to blame us for everything. They're going to do that anyway, because everything is repeats itself, right? Verse 4, is saying, where's the promise of his coming? For since the Father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. You know, uh, you know, look, a day to the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side is a, it's like a thousand years to us, you know. So, all right. Verse 6, where by the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, okay. You know, so they really don't think nothing going to happen to them, you know. Let me see what else I got. Okay, verse 8, 2 Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is what is with the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, so that's a thousand years, and a thousand years, that's one day. The Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, so it's not slack concerning his promises, as some men call slackness, but as long-suffering to us would, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You know, so you got to, just in the last days, you got to keep pushing, you know, endure, you know, keep in this truth, you know, because now, uh, Second Peter 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh, by some Yahweh, I will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt 
the fervent heat, the earth also, and the works therein shall be burned up. That's those ICBM missiles that's going to destroy this place along with the chariots. You know, this shooting those concentrated beams and destroying everybody, you know. You don't want to be here, you know. You know, Lord willing, they don't one of those uh, men to get caught up, you know, in the chariots, been beamed up in the chariots, you know. Uh, you know, verse 11. See then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought you to be here in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, but, you know, we see, and all this going on, this is the conversation we should be in, you know, learning to prophesy, learning to teach, learning to, you know, uh, uh, making our bodies living sacrifices on the highways and byways, you know, you know regardless of their incredulity, all the people, and, 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 you know, we just keep moving, keep it moving, we just keep going, and doing the work, you know. Verse 12, looking forward and hastening to the coming of the day. Our Heavenly Father, your heart will rise in your heart, shall where the heavens shall be on fire, shall be dissolved, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, be according, verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. An account that the long suffering of our Lord Yahweh, by Simeon Yahweh's side, is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. Okay? As also in his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are these things hard to be understood. With state that are unlearned and unstable rest, that mean wrestle with, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Yet therefore, beloved, seeing ye know all these things before, beware, lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, far from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in knowledge, in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh by the Havashah. Anointed to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. So keep studying, and I speak to myself first and foremost. Keep studying, learning, write down those notes, done the best you possibly can. Endure because wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability. Of thy child, Isaiah 33 to 6. You know, because we all know what's happening. We all know that this queendom is run by Esau, Edom, which is, you can find that due to, in Job uh, 9, 24, also Malachi 1 and 4. You know, and that's why this place is upside down, and that's why this place is getting ready to get destroyed. And it's going to be the kingdom of Yahweh, by some Yahweh side, you know. You know, so with that, again, uh, praise honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bahashem, the ones that possibly us oh, a great millstone rule well, won't cause to be learning from. And also, respect and love to all the teachers, and preachers, and bishops, great millstone. Oh well, the water, Yahweh, 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 Shalom.